Hi there, fellow sea glass lovers. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Jackie, and today I am working really, really small. I'm going to show you how I made this sea glass mosaic. It's on the tiniest little frame. I found this frame at a thrift shop, and I really wanted to showcase some of my special pieces of sea glass. So let me show you what I did with this one. So for this project, I went to a local thrift shop and looked for little old frames. And when I say little, I mean little. This frame only measures five and a half inches this way and four and a half inches this way. And the glass in it is only three and a half inches by two and a half inches. And it's kind of ugly. I don't particularly like the gold paint. I do like the little gold clasp at the top. But my goal is to take an old thing that somebody has thrown away and recycle it and make it something pretty. Plus I really like to have cool ways to display some of my special pieces of sea glass. So let me show you what I'm going to do with this. So first step I took the picture and the backing and the glass out of the frame and then cleaned up the glass and the frame because it was kind of dusty. And then I just painted the frame white. I put a little bit of painter's tape on the gold clasp because I really kind of like the gold clasp and I didn't want to get it covered with white paint. Then I just took a piece of sandpaper and I scuffed it up a little bit because I kind of like these old frames to show just a little bit of dinge. And I took the painter's tape off the gold clasp and it looks kind of cool. So now I'm just going to flip it over and put the glass in place and I will take my quick seal adhesive caulking and I'm going to run a bead of silicone all the way around here and just to hold the glass in place. There we go. Now this silicone goes on white but it will dry clear and I'll know it's set and ready to hold the glass in place once the silicone has dried clear. So I need to leave this at least overnight before I carry on with the rest of my project. So I've spent quite a bit of time picking out the pieces of sea glass I want to use for this because the whole key of doing a small piece like this is that it's going to give me the opportunity to really showcase some of my special pieces of sea glass. And um, the only thing I'm going to need for this, I need an adhesive caulk. And basically this is a different product than you usually see me use. This is Red Devil. I often use the uh, Quick Seal. But as any adhesive caulk or silicone to adhesive caulk is going to work but just make sure that clear is written on the on the container or on the little tube but um, anyone will do. I've got a little poker stick and a piece of paper towel and I'm ready to go. Now the key with these is to this is this is one of those pot fillers. I did find it at the beach. It's not terribly pitted, so I don't think it's been at the beach for too long, but it's so cool. So I really wanted to showcase this piece, and I really wanted to showcase this piece of earthenware that I found. It's like that uh, earthenware stuff with some green paint on the outside, and it is so cool, and to me it looks like a flower pot. So then I just picked out some of my other sea glass, some brown to ground it, and this is, a, this is the third piece. Uh, you, can so, you can showcase more than one piece in a small little thing like this. This is a piece of purple sea glass or mauve, and um, so cool. So I'm going to use that for my flower stem. A couple of little leaves there and then it's just the petals of the flower. So I spent quite a bit of time picking out which sea glass to use for this because it's a small piece. When you're doing a very large mosaic you can put all sorts of different things in it and they kind of blend together. But really special pieces can get lost in a really large mosaic. So that's where uh, doing a small little piece like this can kind of help to showcase. Now I'm just going to, whoops, I might have cut that hole too big in that because I just got way too much silicone on that. So I put uh, some of that on and then 
I'll just glue the rest of the pieces on here. And this won't take very long. The longest part in doing a piece like this is going through your sea glass collection and picking out all of those special pieces. And keep in mind when you're doing a small piece like this, you can't really get away with pieces of sea glass that aren't well finished or perfect because in a small piece you can really notice every single piece of sea glass that you use. So take your time when you're picking out these pieces and then just put some silicone on and glue them on and then let it set overnight before you try to hang it or anything. I always work with my pieces uh, where they're lying on the table like this so they don't slip out of place while the silicone is setting because it takes overnight to set re really well. And for some of the larger pieces it's going to take longer because you use more silicone. A little bit of silicone on small pieces, a little bit more on larger pieces. So I have all of those pieces glued on with my adhesive caulk and I'm just going to poke around to get any little messy bits cleaned up. That's why I have the poker stick and you want to do that before it dries. Once it dries it's harder to get off. Now I will know, this has gone on white and I'll know it's all set once it dries clear and then it will be ready to hang. So I'll leave that to set overnight before I try and hang it. So the silicone has set and if I flip this over you can see that there's no white left. It's pretty well all faded into clear and except there's a little bit of white but that's okay. That will go away once it's been set for a while. I put a little label on that says little flower and then I have my hook right in the middle so that I can hang it on a cup hook in the window. Let me show you. So here's my little flower hanging in the window. Unfortunately in this video shot you're not seeing the whiteness of the frame or the green on the flower pot but when I look at it here in my room it looks just spectacular. So it's a really good way to showcase some of my really special pieces of sea glass and it's just sweet. And they make the cutest little gifts too if you want to make a little gift for someone. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and until next time I I hope you make it out to the beach and happy sea glass hunting.